guys. How are you guys doing? Um, some of you guys are just very humble. You're very humble and you don't ask for much. You don't ask for much. You ask for the things that money can't buy. That's what you ask for. That's what you pray about. That's what you ask God for. If you receive anything else, it's just an extra blessing that is added on to whatever you've asked, but it's just an extra blessing. It's an additional blessing, similar to when Solomon asked God for wisdom and God blessed Solomon with way more than just wisdom. Solomon was blessed beyond means until he, you know, was disobedient. But many of you guys, it's like God has a surprise in store for many of you guys, and it's going to be more than what you asked for. It is. But the main thing that many of you guys have asked God for is peace and happiness. And this is because ever since you could remember, everyone's situation is different. Ever since you can remember, it's like ever since fighting witchcraft, fighting the warfare and whatever age that may be for you, you notice that these people cannot stop God's blessings from coming in. They couldn't stop specific ideas that you had, specific, you know, ambitions and goals. But you did notice that the type of, types of things that they would do to you, it would affect your emotions to where you couldn't even enjoy specific blessings that you received. It was hard for you to enjoy it. It's, it's like, let me give you an example. I was speaking to someone about this a while back, but it's like, imagine getting a promotion at work. And the enemy's using a bunch of people at work to throw arrows at you. And people are lying on you at work. They're slandering you at work. And they're trying to do whatever they can to make you look negative so you don't receive the promotion. But God still blesses you with this promotion. You get a raise and you get bumped up to a higher position. And, you know, you're supposed to be so happy about that. But in fact, it's like you're, you're, you're happy. You're humble about it. You're humble about it. You're happy about that new blessing, that new change, but it's hard for you to remain happy. It's hard for you to enjoy it because even in the midst of receiving a blessing, there's still arrows being aimed at you. Remember, when God blesses you, it comes with no sorrow. So the blessing itself, it's not a sorrowful blessing because God keeps his word and he's not a man that shall lie. What creates the sorrow is the enemy's that don't want to see you receive these blessings. And this is why you guys notice that the more you start to walk with God, the more you start to become, you know, blessed, the more God gives you, you notice the more hate, the more envy, the more negativity that is being aimed at you. And it's because people are just fo so focused on what God has given you and so focused on the favor of God's hand on your life. They're so focused on that. They don't understand, you know, how hard it was to get to this place. They don't understand how hard it was for you to make certain changes. And they don't understand just how hard it was for you to clean up your heart and really just release your flesh and release certain things and just completely surrender to God. And they don't understand this because these individuals, they're just more focused on material gain. They're just more focused on having a lot in their life. They're not focused on their heart. They're not focused on their happiness. They're not focused on their peace. Why is that? Because if they were really focused on their peace and their happiness, they would not be trying to attack you because all they're doing by attacking you is disturbing their own peace and disturbing their own happiness. But here's the thing. Here's the thing because they're so focused on material gain and focused on the physical things they can receive, it bothers them to see you with it. So here what? They don't even want you to be happy. They don't even want you to have peace because they don't want you to have the blessings that God gives you and having a peaceful life and happiness. So they're trying to tamper with something, right? So the Lord told me something today. And I wasn't even sure I was going to post it because I just wanted to chill in my house and chill and relax, you know. And I heard him say earlier today, he whispered happiness. He's like happiness. And when I heard the word happiness, my heart jumped with joy. My body jumped with joy. And I, ha I instantly thought to myself, wait, when was the last time I was truly, genuinely 
happy, where I felt like I had no worries. I just felt a bunch of like peace. And I feel peace when I communicate with God. I feel peace when I, when I talk to God. I feel peace when God covers me at night. But when you're consistently also fighting warfare, sometimes you're just so focused on trying to survive through the warfare, praying against the warfare, denouncing, counseling, rebuking, and, you know, fighting the tiredness, fighting the depression, fighting anxiety, always continue to go, go, go. It's like you don't really have time to really enjoy the fruits of your labor. And it's like you really don't have time to really feel the way you used to feel. It's like you have time to feel that way, but it's almost like you're so focused on being in the war. You don't really have time to, or your focus is not really on, you know, what's to come. Let me give an example of that. Cause it may not make sense to many people unless you're actually experiencing it. So let's just say that you're going and you're in the army, right? And you, there's an enemy that is shooting at you guys in the army. And you're like trying to, you're trying to stay alive. You're trying to survive and you're trying to follow the commands of, you know, the sergeant, right? And you're hiding behind certain things. You're, you're using your discernment and you're, you know, you're preventing yourself from getting hurt, but you're also doing the things you're supposed to do to protect your people or to protect whatever you're protecting, right? Which in this case will be you guys protecting your generation, the new generation, protecting your family, covering your friends, family, covering your home, covering you, like covering your children if you have children, covering your partner if you have a husband or wife, right? So it's like you're so focused on that. And it's like, you again, back to being in the army. So you're doing all that, but it's like while you're in the army, you're not going to sit there and jump up and down and sunshines and lollipops, rainbows everywhere. You're not going to do that because you're, you have to focus on fighting the war. You have to focus on getting out of the war, winning the war, winning the fight, right? God says, he, uh, be still, he will fight for you. But there are still certain things that you have to do, certain requirements and responsibilities as God's children that we have to do, like praying, fasting, all of that. That's why Paul says, I have fought the good fight. Because if there wasn't a fight, if it was all sunshines and lollipops, he would not say, I have fought the good fight, right? So when you come out of the war now, it's like, okay, now you can smile. Now you can really be happy. Now you can really be giddy, giddy, you know? But then there's always that, okay, I got to be prepared for whichever enemy is going to come. I cannot be, you know, ignorant to the devil's devices because there's obviously going to be someone else trying to shoot an arrow, right? And that's what happens with many God's children. Like the more we elevate in life, the more we level up, even if it's not something we asked for um, and God blesses us with it, we will still get punished from people. You know, they will try to punish us for receiving a blessing that God gave us because he, God feels we deserve it. And there are some things that we receive that we don't even ask God for, but people will hate us for it. They will literally hate us for it. And we didn't ask God for it. You know what I mean? Um, but I want to, I want to just want to just give you that example. But for some of you guys, it's like, yes, you're peaceful on the journey. You're happy on the journey, but you're not feeling the happiness that you desire because you're always in war. And that's what God meant when he said today, happiness is he's trying to say that the breakthrough that he has coming for you, the blessing that he has coming for you, you are going to feel that happiness that you have been longing for. You are going to feel that happiness that you have been fighting for. And that happiness is going to be so overwhelming. It's like you're going to wake up every day just excited to be here, just excited to wake up, wanting to start your day, having a bunch of energy, having a bunch of peace, not having to always fight war. If you're not having to, having to always fight for the basics because everyone's trying to take the basic things from you, it's going to be like, worry. you're going to be worry-free. You're going to be stress-free when God brings in what he's going to bring in for you, because the happiness that's going to come with it, you are going to be stress-free. God says you are on your way to your happiness. You are on your way to your happiness. Okay. Remember this and receive it. Okay. So I want to give you guys this message, whoever you are that prayed to God and said, God, I just want peace and I just want happiness. You are on your way to happiness. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.